Hello everyone and welcome to today's viewing of Kimber the White Lion, episode 7, let's get started. Uh, you know, I'm thankful that the Sama Tezuka Productions uh, won't, they won't uh, copyright the video, uh, these videos, they won't block them. So, unlike the Rankin Bass Library, we can watch these. <coughs> Battle at Dead River. <coughs> Why is it dead? Shouldn't have held it. I shouldn't have had the wedding on an open plane then. Maybe he's your boss, but he's certainly not mine. Who is he? Come on, king of the jungle. Yeah. Who says he's king? I think you ought to leave before I get mad. Let's get him. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> So close, certainly has the best and toughest. What did they just run off with? Yeah, the animation on the characters is pretty average, but the music and location design is superb. Oh God, how did this ever make it past censorship? Okay. 
Well, at least they've uh, got some border defense. Or whatever. Yeah, this is the only time in the entire franchi uh, franchise where her name is changed to something different entirely, or not some variant of the name. Um, Lyra. Layla? Uh, there's a... There's a few... Yeah, there's less on... Um, there's less on, uh... Consensus on what the name's supposed to be, but... It's usually something along those lines. Not Kitty! It's on an open plain. They've got some nerve. Look, Flamingo, just who do you think you are sneaking around and breaking our nest? What do you mean you're the only nest breakers around here? Hm. I might have known you'd say something like that. Well, we have proof. It happens we have proof. Is this your feather or not? Now there's no need for everybody to get excited. Fine logic.
Uh, what? Why were those two fighting? Our plan is working so far. Now what we have to do is find a way to bring Kimber so that none of the animals will trust him anymore and you can step in. Yeah, that's good. I like your ideas. Didn't we do a good job finding hairs from all them animals? Yeah, good job. And how about planting orchids and in all them places, huh, boss? Yeah. You smell awful. <laughs> Hell is that? Orchid, your scent's throwing me off the trail. Sorry. It's just Orchid. Exactly, it's Dead anywhere. River. Sure. He's right down there. <laughs> uh, not to be that person, but um, the body wouldn't actually sink into lava, so. But it would be burned to a crisp upon contact. I'm positive it's Kimba, and I'm positive you're wrong. Kimba would never do anything so mean. You'd better not protect him, Polly. I've got proof. Look at that. It's his hair. What is that proof? Anybody could have done it. The whole wrecker? Let's go find Kimba. That's exactly what we've been trying to do since last night. Find Kimba. He ran away, that's what? I don't believe that Kimba would run away. All right, where is he? I think we ought to find him and make him pay for the damage he did. I'm with Polly. I can't believe such a thing about Kimba. That's a good character. You're all talking nonsense. That's what you're doing. Can anybody give me a reason why Kimba do this to his best friends? I think he might be jealous of us. He's the only one in this part of the jungle who doesn't have a family. Gosh, that's right. He might be jealous because the rest of us are happy. Bucky, that's the dumbest thing you've ever said. I bet that's right. Now what do we do about it? Wait! I think you're all wet. What do you mean, all wet? He's right. I agree with him. But I don't. You don't what? I forget the question. Mm. Right. Oh. Yeah. 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 Kimba proved that he wasn't your friend, so good riddance to him. Now Claw is the only king of the jungle. And make sure none of you forget that. <laughs> How's this for a cliffhanger? It would be better if it was at a commercial. Poor Kimba, I 
tried to be like a second father to him, but I guess I didn't try hard enough. I thought he was happy here with his friends, and now he's Get gone. Get up, Ah, oh, my dear, I hope you're feeling better now. Yes, but I've got something to tell you. I know you're worried. Well, so am I. I wanted to tell you what I saw. What do you mean? Not Kimba. Not Kimba, but it certainly does have a lot to do with him. It happened as I was sleeping last night. can't beat your game. You're a great king, Ka. Kitty. Do you still want to have me as your queen? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I'd be very happy to accept your proposal, your majesty, and share your throne with you. And as a wedding present, all I ask of you is your promise not to hurt any of the other animals. Your Majesty, this is a trap. The only reason she's willing to be your queen is so that she can protect her precious friends. Quiet! I make all the decisions around here. Nobody's going to tell me how to rule my jungle. And that goes for every one of you, understand? Hmm. Let's go! Your Majesty. Don't you see what Kitty's done? She sacrificed herself to save us. Are we going to stand here and let her do it? Come on! Wait! There's nothing we can do without Kimba. You're right, Daniel. But where is Kimba? Holly, I think what we ought to do is spread out and search for him. I'll bet Claw and his henchmen have him trapped somewhere. Sometimes I think you're smarter than you look. Look! It's Kimba! Thank goodness you're back! Hooray! What's the matter? What happened? Uh, poor Kitty's gone to marry Claw to save us, Kimba. What? This is wrong in, on so many the levels. Evil Claw is taking Kitty to Dead River, his rocky and forbidding lair. Here, Claw's power is at its greatest, and Kimba must fight him in this strange, deserted land. I'm just saying, if it rains, uh, Claw better be able to swim. What a wonderful fight scene. Wait, Polly, don't drop it on him. But Kimba, you mean you don't want us to punish the tyrant after all the terrible things he 
he's done to everybody? He's lost all of his power, and for him, that's the worst punishment. You can learn something from Kimba. You thought that just having strength was enough to be king of the jungle. What you strength? That, you have no friends, but Kimba has many, because he's good and kind. He doesn't rule by bullying, but by setting an example for others to follow. Polly, how much longer do we have to hold this rock? Oh, I forgot about it. Just drop it somewhere. Life could be this peaceful all the time. I could show Kitty my part of the jungle. Oh, we could have so much fun together. It's good to see all the animals living in peace again. That's the way it should be. Oh, what a nice ending. So they could enjoy this too. They were so good. And they taught me how important it is for everyone to live together without fighting. Uh what? I could show Kitty to them. They'd have liked her. Uh, what? I miss them so much. I wish Kitty didn't have to leave. Your father was dead by the time you were born. So that was a uh, well. That was bad from that dead river. Uh, good, good. Um, Claude's uh, creepy. He's creepy. He's creepy. Maybe even a bit crappy. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, that's today's video. I'll see you next time. See